Please be seated. On behalf of Brownson Church, I just want to welcome you here this evening. I want to welcome family and friends. What a wonderful celebration this is. Uh, and to the graduates, congratulations. And uh, to the teachers and administrators, great job. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, you created each one of us uniquely and wonderfully. You knit us together and gave us gifts of mind, body, and spirit. We thank you this day for those gifts that we see in these wonderful young people. You created us for a purpose that our lives may have meaning. And I pray that each young person here may hear your call to love, to love your neighbor, to love the weak, to love the outcast. You created us with the gift of learning, the ability to grow in knowledge and character and understanding, the ability to empathize and to hope and to love, the ability to stand for a truth larger than self. This day we thank you for administrators and teachers who have invested and cared and loved a new generation, who have taken time to listen and challenge, shape and comfort and we especially thank you for the families who have walked the hard road of standing close to their children, but also giving them room to explore and grow. Most of all, Lord, we ask your blessing on these wonderful students as they walk through this important threshold. We ask your blessing on them, on their families, on these teachers and administrators, and on this school. In God's name we pray. Amen. Wisdom is bright and does not grow dim. By those who love her, she is readily seen and found by those who look for her. Quick to anticipate those who desire her, she makes herself known to them. Watch for her early and you will have no trouble. You will, you will find her sitting at your gates. Even to think about her is understanding fully grown. Be on the alert for her and anxiety will quickly leave you. 
She herself, she herself walks about looking for those who are worthy of her and graciously shows herself to them as they go, in every thought of theirs coming to meet them. Of her, the most sure beginning is the desire for her discipline. Care for discipline means loving her. Loving her means keeping her laws. Obeying her laws guarantees incorruptibility. Incorruptibility brings near to God. Thus desire for wisdom leads to severity. In the despot of nations, you delight in throne and scepter. Honor wisdom, thus to reign forever. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Who in this world can be called pure? He whose mind is pure. Who can be called wise? He who can discriminate between the real and the unreal. Who is the greatest hero? The person who is not terror-stricken by the arrows would shoot the eyes of a beauty. Who is poor? He who is not contented. What rolls quickly away like drops of water from a lotus leaf? Youth, wealth, and the years of a person's life. What is hell? To live in slavery to others. How is heaven attained? The attainment of heaven is the freedom from cravings. What is a person's duty? To do good to all beings. What are worthless as soon as they are won? Honor and fame. What brings happiness? The friendship of the holy. What destroys craving? Realization of one's true self. Who are our enemies? Our, se our sense organs when they are uncontrolled. Who are our friends? Our sense organs when they are controlled. Who has overcome the world? He who has conquered his own mind. O oh God, who calls the fresh vigor of new life to your service, we pray to you for the youth of our generation. That you will give us the gifts of gaiety, freedom, and simplicity to make our tired world grow young again. That you will consecrate the discontent of the young and the rebellious and strengthen the true prophets that they may be forerunners of your kingdom. We praise you for the zest of youth and for the untamed hopes with which the young continually refresh the earth. And we pray that you will use in our time our undimmed eyes to see and our undiscouraged vigor to achieve your will. We ask you Inspire, we pray you, to the young to serve the common good. Temper our recklessness into mortal courage, moral courage out of our youthful spirit of daring, bring the maturity of independent minds and constructive endeavors. And so lead us from youth to age, that undishonored and unashamed, we may transmit to our children a better world than ours. Welcome everyone, and to the class of 2019, greetings and congratulations. We gather this evening to begin the process of honoring our seniors leading up to commencement tomorrow. And O'Neill education is a gift, and we thank your families for their commitment to give each of you this opportunity and to give the faculty the honor of working with you. Class of 2019, each of you has many abilities and talents, and your achievements have made us proud. You are leaders, scientists, athletes, actors, 
equestrians, artists, and all of you have achieved academic success at O'Neill. You will attend colleges and universities across the country. Expectations are high for each of you, and I am confident that you will be successful. It is a special honor for me to give this talk today. I met many of the members of the class of 2019 when they were in seventh grade, and this means that through five schools and more than a couple dozen commencement exercises, I have personally known this class longer than any other in my career. This is also a special class because a few years ago, Ms. Carr, who earlier read the Litany of Youth, announced that she too would graduate in 2019. Who other than this class uh, would have gone to see Ms. Carr ring bells at church or forever name the parking area among the trees in front of the upper school the car lot? the C-A-R-R lot. This is a special group indeed. Still, these talks are not easy to write. Finding the words for such a diverse group with so many hopes and dreams is a challenge. Simply, I'm proud to be a part of this time with these students and with their friends and families. At this point in your lives, class of 2019, each of you already knows the importance of the choices you make. The choices may make today impact tomorrow. Want to win an athletic title? Train. Want to exceed academically? Study. Want to perform on stage? Rehearse. Want to write the great American novel? Put your hands on the keyboard and write. Doesn't seem easy? But seniors, as an elite group like you has already guessed, there is much more to success and accomplishment than the choices you have made and the skills you have mastered in upper school. Success and accomplishment also require risk-taking, grit, failure, cooperation, gratitude, compassion, and love. Achievement in your futures will mean overcoming obstacles to create something meaningful that positively impacts the lives of others. For everyone from academics to entrepreneurs, success means overcoming obstacles to create something meaningful that positively impacts the lives of others. In looking at this definition of success, the first part is overcoming obstacles. You will all face anxiety, fear, and failure, and it is how you overcome these obstacles that determines your ultimate accomplishments. It is tempting to avoid discomfort and challenge by not taking chances nor setting the highest goals, but in doing so, your opportunities are immediately limited. If you do not stretch for the highest standards nor look for unique, innovative solutions, you will never reach them. Having the courage to take risks and the grit to push through challenges and failures ultimately determines your success. To bring this point home, I'm fond of a quote from a journalist who your parents may remember from a few decades ago, David Brinkley. Often folksy, Brinkley said, quote, successful people are those who can lay a firm foundation from the bricks that have been thrown at them, end quote. Class of 2019, it's not a matter of if the bricks are coming your way, they are. What you do with the bricks and the challenges in life and what you build with them will determine your outcomes. Success means overcoming obstacles to create something meaningful that positively impacts the lives of others. Class of 2019, being meaningful to others is what it's all about. In every field, the most successful are those who impact and improve others' lives. In the tech world, Apple and Pixar make devices and films that people love. In the financial world, Vanguard provides investment options so help people can plan their futures. Soldiers, teachers, farmers, manufacturers, doctors, all do what they do to help others make their lives better. My advice to you seniors is to keep others at the forefront of your decision making every step of the way. Your years at O'Neill have taught you much more than just individual academic achievement. The school's distinctive mission and culture 
strives to provide you with knowledge, skills, and empathy to be leaders in your community. If you want to be the most successful, have the greatest impact positively on the most people. Being meaningful others is what it's all about. The O'Neill School is a special place with extraordinary people, and I promise all of you that none of us will forget this year nor the class of 2019. Seniors, you are also special, and I thank you for your tone and leadership. Each of you has much to look forward to and to accomplish throughout your lives, and as you do, I hope that you will take time to reflect on what success really means, overcoming obstacles to create something meaningful that positively impacts the lives of others. I wish you all the best and leave you with a poem, now a tradition in my talks at baccalaureate from Ralph Waldo Emerson. It's entitled Success. To laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or redeemed social condition, to know that even one life has breathed easier because you have lived, this is to have succeeded. Graduates, teachers, administrators, may you be raised up in the joy of this moment and the joy of this weekend. Congratulations and go this day trusting in the God of love who walks with you this day. Go now trusting in that love. Amen. Amen.